What's going on everyone? So today we are out here at Explore USA RV Supercenter in Bernie, Texas. And we're gonna take a look at this absolutely beautiful Bighorn by Heartland. This is a full body paint, full profile fifth wheel. This thing's absolutely stunning. And there's a lot to like about it. They do a lot of things really interestingly different in terms of the interior, the trim, things like that, that I think a lot of folks who are looking for a higher end full profile fifth wheel might be interested in. So hang tight, I'll be right back. All right, let's get started by looking at the numbers on this unit. So, this big horn is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,250 pounds. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 2,864 pounds. It's gonna ride on twin 7,000 pound axles, and it's gonna have G-rated 16 inch tires. So far, the specs look pretty good. It does not have an upgraded pin box, which is kind of surprising, but at the same time, you're seeing some manufacturers move away from them only because they're trying to give customers the option of not having to pay for a pin box they might ultimately remove and add you know, one of their own, whether it's gonna be a goose box, whether they're gonna add a Moride rubber pin box or a trail air, something that's more customized to how they wanna tow. This does have hydraulic level up landing gear, auto leveling system, as well as a sewer hose storage area. This is gonna be riding on a 10 inch I-beam drop frame on a 12 inch main beam section. So this has a very hefty frame in terms of how they've set that up. And that should give you a really large storage. All right, so you do get a good size storage. The baggage door is a little thinner than I would have expected. I thought it was gonna be a little bit thicker. Seems to be a pretty dense material though but check out this storage area. They finished off the area above it, so you no longer see the aluminum bracing for the bath deck. But a lot of space in here, absolutely huge, huge storage. And you can see how they put a little heat vent in here as well to keep this area from freezing over if you're gonna take it up north. This is gonna be your wet bay area. You have the water filter already installed. Very nice and clean. This is going to be the outside of your furnace. Frameless windows, pretty standard on units like this. Here's going to be your sewer connections to be able to drain your tanks. Coming around this side, this does have Westlake G-rated tires on it, and it runs the Cree 3000 suspension system. Back here, you have storage. So they've given you a very creative storage space back here. Generally, this is gonna be behind the fireplace, but you have a power connection here, which I assume is for the fireplace, but you feel they could have given you a second power connection there. Coming around, you have your 50 amp connection right there. Then you have your spare tire tray down here at the back. It's gonna be for you to slide out your spare tire off of the other side. LED lighting back here. It is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera and it does have all LED signal lighting up top. Coming around this side, there is no bumper installed on this unit, but you do have a receiver hitch on it and that is gonna be for an accessory rack, so not for towing. You also have a walk-on roof and a ladder to get up there. On this side, this is where you would actually pull your spare tire out from on that little sled and then you have your rack and pinion slide here. Coming around, again, beautiful, beautiful paint job. This is gonna be the outside of your water heater and the other side of your storage. Let's open this up real quick. So again, even though the doors are relatively thin, they're very dense, very heavy doors. Huge, huge storage area. You have a little access panel here if you need to get to any of your connections, do any type of service. You have some power connections here and you have a light on each side. Very nice. All right, let's go up the Moride step above steps into this 3870 FB. Check that out. Asdell on board. So Heartland has been quietly starting to construct a lot of their units with Asdell composite side panels. Basically giving you a side panel that is impervious to water, rot, or mildew, which is really nice. Check this out. 
like I guys told you at the beginning of the video, they do a lot to really make the interior of their units look great. And it's not really just the interior. You know, whatever your impression is of Heartland or some of their products or some of their fifth wheels, Looking at this, you have a 10 inch main I-beam frame, which is nice. You have an upgraded suspension system. You're running G-rated tires. They've put some smart things below like a sewer hose holder. They've integrated some storage in places that most manufacturers just completely ignore. And they've decked the interior out with a tremendous amount of woodwork. I mean, you can just see how they trim things out. They use larger crown molding. The interiors of these bighorns are absolutely beautiful and they do a really good job of putting the materials that people expect. Now you have the upgraded Furion gas cooktop with oven, nice convection microwave, lots of contrasting tones, something that is becoming more and more popular on RVs regardless of the budget you're looking at. You have the higher end Thomas Paine theater seating and the fold out sofa. So that folds out into a bed. 40 inch wide view fireplace as well as a 50 inch TV. Lots of cabinets. Lots of drawers as well. So are they soft closing? Nope, not soft closing drawers. On this side you have power outlet, more drawers, more storage. Place for your garbage can which is really nice. Lots of storage under here. And they've offset the sink to one side, so you still have a lot of usable space over here. Base price 91, MSRP on this unit's 112,333. Sale price on this, if I had to guess, I would probably say it's gonna be in the mid 70s to high 70s. But you'll have to check their website out or give them a call. They might not even have this unit by the time you see this video. Up top, you can see all the molding has three AC units. So you have an AC unit right here. They're all whisper quiet. You have a second AC unit right here. And then you have a third one back here in the bedroom. So that's very nice. Lots of pantry storage. That's the story of this unit is storage. You get storage everywhere. They're using the new Furion refrigerator. Looks very, very similar to the Insignia refrigerator in terms of where they put that, except this has a single drawer for a freezer instead of the two drawers. Let's take a look in the bathroom. So this is a half bath. This is really cool. Check it out. Lots of storage in here. Very, very nicely trimmed off. Feels very high end. Porcelain foot flush toilet. You have a nice little window there with a darkening shade so you can block out any light that might come through or you know, anybody from being able to see in through there. Your air conditioning controls. More storage here. I'm telling you, this is coat storage as well, but you could also probably put, you know, like a small vacuum or a mop or something in there, which is also nice. Going up the steps, linoleum flooring all the way through, no carpet. Very, very nice bedroom area. Probably have about eh, maybe a foot of space on that side, foot of space on the other side, but king size bed. Lots of wardrobe space coming this way. Nice sliding door here. Now stepping into the master bathroom, you can see dual vanities, very, very nice. One huge mirror, a lot of lighting above. You have a window in here, which is nice, and you have a darkening shade up here if you wanna block anybody from being able to see in or out. More drawers right here, cabinet space underneath the sinks. Has that really nice upgraded shower stall that a lot of people are starting to see on these units. And you can get these in different designs. So this one is that solid kind of faux marble look and then you have some that have the tile look to them, but very popular to start seeing. And it is not a one piece shower stall. So if this has to come out for any reason, it's a lot easier to remove than a one piece unit that you essentially either have to break into pieces and replace it with a two piece unit or you have to take part of your wall out. Check out that skylight. That is one massive skylight. Has kind of a standard shower assembly here. I was kind of hoping there'd be a slide rail, something else here, you know, but you know, you don't really have any other area. The nice thing is it comes off, but there's no way to adjust it and just keep it on there. Right here, I'm assuming is gonna be your washer and dryer connection. Yep, so you have a place to mount a washer and dryer here, which is nice. 
And if you don't put a washer and dryer in here, you have a lot of storage space. And up here is your enormous closet that you can actually walk into. You have your hanging rod up here, place for shoes, place for towels, whatever you might need to put in here. A lot of space in here though. So they've definitely utilized the space in this unit well and storage is kind of the story of this thing. Coming back, I like that they put a air conditioning control in the bedroom for the bedroom AC unit, which is also nice. And these two control the two air conditioning units back here. But you should be able to keep this fifth wheel very cool in the extreme summer. Very nice floor plan. It is a rear living room floor plan, bath and a half, which is becoming more and more popular on these longer units. And this is gonna be about the length of your longest fifth wheels. I'm assuming this thing's probably close to 44 feet long. Relatively heavy for what it is. I would definitely recommend towing this behind a dually. Single rear wheel truck just won't give you the stability I think you're looking for. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.